right. So we have um, a, a great news. Minnesota, um, the governor has signed the bill. The legislature pushed through. Uh, it removes uh, the barriers to community networks. Um, so previously, uh, ever since 1915, if you wanted to build or con- or uh, buy uh, a telephone exchange, you had to have a supermajority vote in Minnesota as a public entity. And now that is not the case. Uh, cities can make up their own minds. And then there was some other specific language to building a fiber optic network where no private provider could be offering a comparable service. And that is now gone. So people have more ability to decide locally if they would like to make this investment without having to go through extra hurdles. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, That puts us down to about 16 states that have meaningful barriers against municipal broadband. Uh, Four states, I said three earlier, but Colorado also removed their barrier. It's just that it wasn't that strong of a barrier, but uh, it's a pretty good movement over the past four years to get rid of barriers to investment. So I'm excited about it. Anyone else? I would just say that the the Minnesota barriers were in the light category. They were not a prohibition, and there are there's a number of cities there who have gone through it. So, uh, but it's good to be gone. Now there's zero barriers, and that's all better. So.